Welcome to Bill Dance Saltwater. Great fun fishing that anyone can do. Yes, you can do this. From the shallow flats and backcountry to coral reefs and sky blue Gulf Stream waters, more saltwater world fishing records have originated here in the Florida Keys than any other angling destination in the world. Fishing here is always a great experience, regardless of the fish you're after. But one species that can make it really outstanding is the ultimate predator, the shark. Today, Bill returns to this exciting area for another trip with his good friend and prominent area guide, Tony Murphy. He's been fishing the waters off Key West for more than 20 years. It would be difficult to imagine a better environment than Key West for lemon sharks, and that's the species that Bill and Tony have on their agenda for today. As we join them, Bill has just arrived at Tony's new saltwater angler. It's an impressive 4,000 square foot outfitter store located at Weston Key West Resort and Marina right on the waterfront. key to this is uh, chumming. Yeah, we're going to use these, uh, we're going to use these bonitas and cudas and rainbow runners just to hang them over the side and just to get them in, get them in close. And that's how we're, we're going to throw these artificial, these beautiful looking lures you got here and try to go crazy with it. Woo! Boy, that's, that's some blood there, dude. Yeah. So it's chumming way. That's it, buddy. You get asked all the time, how long does it take for the sharks to show up? The sharks always show up. Whether we're still going to be here when they show up is the question. <laughs> you know, but they will be here. What is it about just catching a shark? Well, it's kind of like hunting for a rhino or a lion or something, something, something big and bad like that. You know, it, it can eat you. It can kill you. So a seven, eight foot lemon shark could eat you. Oh, yeah. They'll come out of the, actually out of the water to try to eat you if they're mad enough. There have been days when I wish we had a bigger boat. Really? Yeah. I've had to come out and latch, latch onto the rubber rail, leave, leave the teeth in the boat. There you go, Bill. There's one coming right behind it, buddy. Get him. <laughs> Woo! There you go, baby. He's taking the drag. Hook him up. Pretty work, Bill. He's going to town with that bait. Man, he ate that lure like it was going out of style. Buddy, I tell you what, this one put on his breeches this morning. Whoa, look at him jumping out there. And I mean, he put on a big pair. He took about 40 yards, and I think I've got back 10. They don't like to come up in that clear, clear area, do they? No, nah, they feel a little wary. There, there's another big one going across right there. There's two, two uh, there's three right out there. You reckon this one's going to tell them? Uh, sometimes when you hook one up, it kind of winds the rest of them up. You know, they get a little side, yeah. They feel like they're missing out on something now. I had not seen this one yet. He's a good solid six-footer, right? Woo, look oh, at him. Way out right there. You seen him blow up? Yeah, look at him right on the surface. Oh, we're having fun. Beautiful Florida Keys, baby. And a beautiful this Florida Keys. Lure fishing for Lure sharks. Fishing. Where else can you do it? A good solid six footer, right? Woo, look oh, at him. Way out there. Right there. You see him blow up? Yeah, look at him right on the surface. Are we having fun? Beautiful Florida Keys, baby. And a beautiful this Florida Keys. Lure fishing for Lure sharks. Fishing. Where else can you do it? He's wanting to stay along that grass line or that deeper water. There you go. 
Got some bodies coming. You got three fish back here right this second. Right, look at I see another one. You're hooked to the middle one. Is that man going across? Going to your left right now, yeah. Look at him right on the surface. Look yeah, at I that. see him right there. Pretty Is that a lemon right or a bull? I believe it's a lemon. Do these lemons normally just stay in the bay or do they go out? They'll go the offshore. Gulf? The big ones go offshore to spawn, I believe. Yes. What does he act like he's doing? He doesn't act like he's worn down yet, does he? He's just, yeah, he's just swimming up tide right now. I don't think he, uh, he's not done, that's for sure. Didn't you told me last year that you wanted to take the hooks out of them all this year, isn't that what you said? <laughs> this bait here's got nine hooks in it, I think. Here he comes. Going back the other way. The bait's got him right in the corner of the mouth. He just spit something up. There he goes back around. I think that hook came out and another hook got him. That's a pretty good sized fish, eh? Yeah. Look at him. Man, he wanted that lure too. Look. Yeah, there's two hooks. Well, that's got six hooks in. How are you going to do this, Dr. Doolittle? There's one out. It'd be nice. Oh, that was perfect. Look at that. There you go. A little hook tail, too, didn't it? Yeah, look at that. So what we've got here, we're on an HD7 uh, bomber saltwater long A. That's a beautiful lure, buddy. While you were fishing it, we just on the sand flat, whipping it out, holding it up, digging it into the sand, just slow rolling. Not slow rolling, just slow digging it, I guess. Just leaving a mud trail, kind of stopping it and starting it up. Well, where do they come from? You look out there, that's the Gulf of Mexico. There's nothing right there until you get to Texas. But we've got some finger channels and a little basin between us and the finger channels that go out into the Gulf. So with this tide, you know, we're actually covering a lot of space. Two big ones right there. There they go back. All right, here we go, here we go. Here we go, Tony. Let me get mine out of the way. Hold him, buddy. I still got him. Got him, way to go, way to go, way to go. Oh, jump it, jump it, jump it. Jump, 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 jump. Look, he's going crazy. <laughs> Woo! That man oh. can get excited. Oh, there he goes again! What? You see that? That man can get excited. Oh my God! I love it when they look at him. He's just boy, he is like screaming crazy it, ain't he? out there. I can't stop this dude. What <laughs> you? You worried about it? I think I got about a hundred yards out there. I bet you got more than a hundred yards out there. You talking about that way? Yeah. I will bet you got more than a hundred. Look at him jumping out of the water out there. You see that? Uh, that fish is. This fish is crazy. Up. I mean, he came completely out of the water after all that. After all that. You sure that's not a tarpon? <laughs> that's a crazy shark. Who's winning this fight now? Oh, you? It's, dude, it's all me now, bro. All me. You know, I told you when I started this saltwater show that I couldn't spell salt water. <laughs> well, you know, I still can't. And I've been bass fishing so long and losing the, and using these bomber long A's. I told you that's the bait we're using. Yeah. I'll tell you how much I know. These baits are a salt. They call them an a salt, but they look like a long A. But they're not a long A, they're a salts. HD7s. He's still taking lines. <laughs> You've been fighting that fish 25 minutes, going on 30. Making a career out of it. You're making a career out of it. I don't see him out there anywhere. He's coming right across the sand right now. Look at him. Yeah, I see him. I see the dark spot. You got him a lot closer than you did. Oh, yeah. About 150 yards closer. Oh, look at him on the surface. You might have to pull him to the back so he's heading for it. Let's see your expertise. Yeah. Going that way. 
Buddy, that shark right there. I, I tell you what, I thought he was 10 feet long. He got that bait right in the corner of his mouth, too. Yeah, in the side. It's in the side. Well, he had it, part of it's in the corner. All right. Hey, let me hold your rod. I ain't good at this. I ain't got, <laughs> hey, I got, let me get back here. I'm going to come around here where he's coming around. Bait came out of his mouth. This is going to be a little bit dodgy getting this one out. We're going to have to see what happens. When it's down here, yeah. he can turn and bite my hand. When it's in his mouth, it's a little different. Just keep it nice and tight. Okay. Let's see. If I can get that first one out. Oh, it's really high. Good job. We ain't done yet. Stay still. Ooh, there she goes. There she goes. Always chumming. That's what it takes, doesn't it? Yeah, you know, when they get, you can see how lethargic they are. They need a little fresh. They need a little boost. Bill, there's one in there. He's coming right behind you. I see him, I see him. Oh, man. Way to go, Bill. Screamer. Look at him oh, he's jumping. All right. Feel they're going. He's coming in the sand right now. Same right there. Hard not to. Definitely hard not to. There he is. There you go. Coming around on your side, Tony Murphy. Do it, buddy. Who are you? Just kind of doing what he wants to do. Kind of just cruising. There you come. Got that line all up under him. Uh, I think he's just hooked in the other side of the mouth on the other side there. He rolls over. All right. Woo, there he is. Boy, what he's a day. Pretty one. Man, he's still got a lot of energy. I'm going to tell you something, boy. Those boys right there get up in the morning. Woof. Whoa! You think he want to bite me right there, Bill? Yeah. I think he did, didn't he? He tried to bite you again. You got the front hook. Watch his hand. Woo! Boy, brother, look at him going. He let us have it all, didn't he? Man, wow, what a fish. Today's fishing tip is sponsored by Low Rats and the new Structure Scan Sonar Imaging option for HDS. Change your view with side scan plus down scan imaging to cover more water and find more fish faster. Get the whole picture with Low Rats HDS plus Structure Scan. The prime season for bigger snooks, say 10 pounds and up, is late spring and early summer when spawning activities draw them in and around the passes and deeper holes of the outside. The full moon of May is the traditional kickoff time, but in fact, many big snook are taken well before that, and the season may not get into full swing before June. Beautiful part of the world, isn't it? it really is. Oh! Oh! Yeah, baby, I got it this time. There you go. Woo! Uh, there you go. <laughs> Come on, keep it on, keep it on, keep it on. Don't spit it. He's playing with you now. He's gonna probably put the heat on. Oh, dude, don't do that right there. What's he trying to do? Uh, he's fine, he's fine. He's rolled over. So he's going to make a run straight out, you know? You going to the gym tonight? No, I'm good. I'm taking the night off. i tell you one thing. I've never seen a fish with that much strength. I don't have a problem if I don't get him in a little bit closer. He get tired now. I'll help you. <laughs> 
Not yet. Not yet. There's one thing I ain't going to do is get that lure out of his mouth. You're a trained professional yeah. when it comes to that. I tried to take a bluefish off the other day, and I got, I got two indentions on both sides of my thumb. Oh, they'll tear you up, buddy. Buddy, that one did. I lost four pints of blood. He swallowed it. He literally swallowed that bait. I watched him eat it, but when he ate it, he kept eating. Okay, tell me what to do, Tony. You want to grab him? Stick your hand down there, grab that hook, throw all those hooks out, give me that lure back. My grandmother gave me that lure. I got to get it back. <laughs> all right, we good? Yeah. Going to let him go? Yeah. We're going to keep that lure. There we go. Push him out there. What a fish. Go on, you big hog. Buddy, you did great. Thanks, buddy. You Appreciate did it. wonderful. That was, that was fun. fun. Woo! Wow. Buddy. Boy, there's a bunch of fish out there, isn't it? Yeah. Do they just travel in packs like that? A lot of times the lemon sharks will. Do they travel in size? I mean, do big ones and little ones travel together? I don't think so, you know? I mean, it, 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 seems, it seems like they're mixed up. So in other words, it's not uncommon to see a 40-pounder and a 80-pounder together. Right. Look, he's got it. Here you go. All right. Man, he wanted it, huh? Yeah. I mean, he was he was right determined. Oh, look at oh. him go. Oh, there's a pile of them out there. I'm going to show you how a fat Tennessee boy whips one down. Do it, buddy. I ain't gonna sit here and waste 45 minutes on that. <laughs> oh, there whoa, you go. bro. He's ill. This seven foot Cabo's fixing to put some hurt on this on this boy. I'm gonna whoop him. Are you impressed? Very. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell. Ah, oh, you're doing a fabulous job. You know, that step is a lot higher this year than it was last year. I'm going to bring him in to you. I'm going to bring him in to you. Got him on the mullet. Hey, Tony, Dr. Dr. Murphy. Yeah, look at them teeth. You got a mouthful of it, didn't you? Woo! <laughs> Easy there, Tiger. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Dude. You see that mouthful? Dude, he had a set of pearly whites that wanted a piece of me. I have had a wonderful time. I'm telling you, I remember last year you told me, he said, come back and we'll catch him on artificial. And you were 100% right. And we did just that. He said, maybe top water. We tried top water, those big old knuckleheads. But, you know, it's just like bass. There's days they're more active than they are right. at other times. But they went to the underwater stuff. And uh, this is something you can do. And this is a guy you want to go with Tony Murphy, right here in Key West. Surfing our email is brought to you by PowerPole. Now when shallow water fishing, you can quickly and quietly stop your boat and keep it securely in place, even in heavy wind and current. Ask your marine dealer for PowerPole. Those Australian barramundi fish are different, but still fun to catch and great to eat. Any more interesting facts? Well, barramundi spawn on the full moon. All are born male, then turn into females when they are three to four years old. They can live in freshwater, saltwater, or estuaries. And a large female can produce 32 million eggs in a single season. Now for this week's Bill Dance Saltwater Travel Log. Key West is the southernmost city in the U.S. located 129 miles southwest of Miami, Florida. The nearest major airport is Key West International, about two miles from the city center. We want to thank Captain Tony Murphy of Saltwater Angler for his expert help during our trip and highly recommend his store and services. Key West has plenty of first-class accommodations and some of the best restaurants in South Florida.
We hope you've enjoyed Bill Vance Saltwater and learned that you can do this. Please join us right here again next week.